Hello and welcome to my very first ever how-to video. Today I'm going to be going over essentially how to make fertilizer. I did do a little bit of research online and I couldn't really come up with anything and I realized that there were no actual YouTube videos or anything out there whatsoever to actually help people make fertilizer. And the reason why I was trying to make the fertilizer and everything is I was trying to end up figuring out how to actually go and make, uh, let's see, let me think about this here. I was trying to figure out exactly how to make that frosty generator. And to make that frosty generator there, I realized, hey, I need ice. And to make ice, I need a hydrator. So I'm like, okay, so how do I make a hydrator? And turns out I need fertilizer to make the hydrator. But looking at fertilizer, it just says sewage composter. And it doesn't show us how we actually go and how we actually go and do that. It just says when fried with power and two buckets of sewage, it was solidified into fertilizer. I'm like, okay. So how do I get sewage? And I tried looking that up, and I couldn't figure anything out. Like, all I saw was a bottler, a squeezer, a fluid tank, and a fluid transporter. So I couldn't find anything of how to actually get that sewage. And it took me probably about 20, 30 minutes of digging around online before I could figure it out. Because, I mean, there were no YouTube videos. There was nothing on it whatsoever. And I finally came up with the Surefire method. To be able to actually go and essentially get bulk sewage. And that's what I decided to do for you guys today. So this is pretty much all you really need. You don't need as many cans. You only really need a can or a bucket. You need just maybe a chicken. All it takes is one animal. Any animal. A sewage composter. Survival generator. Like any sort of generator really. I have fancy power systems. But I figured I'd use a survival generator just for the sake of this video. We have the animal sewer. An energy conduit because we need something to connect the sewage composter to the survival generator. A can, smoke fences, and now that I think of it, I actually forgot about the coal. Let me grab some coal here. Because we need something to be able to actually power our generator. So essentially, with all this stuff in mind, let's get right down to it. So we have the animal sewer here. And to be able to go, we actually need to put the animal sewer just under any animal. And I found out that, hey, if I go, if I, for example, like spawning a chicken here, Right on top of that, hey, that chicken is going to go, well, I need power, of course. But that chicken essentially is going to go, and he's going to end up powering and filling this up with sewage. So let's quickly go. Let's make a survival generator here. Fill this up with coal. And then, now if we go, if we get one more chicken on top, we see it starts filling up slowly with sewage. But the second he leaves that tile and runs off wherever he runs off to, it doesn't generate any more sewage for us. So I determined that they need to be on top of this sewage tile. So I figured, okay, what better way than to literally just go and box them in? I mean, that makes sense. So I spawned all these chickens on top. And once I had them on, I'm like, hey, I'm getting lots of sewage now. So now that we actually go, now that we have a surefire way of getting, making pretty much infinite sewage, you don't need this many chickens. You could probably do with maybe just one or two. But I figured this is a good way of going and actually getting bulk sewage, essentially. So now that we have that, it's like, oh, hey, so now all we need to do is just go, we can put buckets in there. We can take out, like, sewage buckets one at a time. Or we can go, we can get, like, sewage cans one at a time. I mean, again, we're still sitting there waiting for sewage to go. So, hey, now we have sewage. We want to turn this into fertilizer. And I had the sewage composter and everything. I'm just going to quickly break this. Place down just an energy conduit, something to go, something to connect to our generator here. And then if I put this on top, it's going to go, it's going to power up a tiny bit of energy here. It's not going to make too much because, again, like we have this guy, he's still trying to like fill up with energy, but we are going to get like a little. So I'm like, okay, hey, we can go, we can fill that up with sewage. And we can also fill it up with sewage just by simply right clicking on it. But we can't do that with the cans. That's the thing that really went, that's the thing that really annoyed me more so, is that I couldn't just right click on it with a can. So you actually have to manually go, and even if you put a sewage can in there, it doesn't work. Which let me believe, hey, there's something wrong here. Like, I can't put sewage cans in there in any way, shape, or form. And that's the thing that really irked me, because you can fill cans up with sewage, but you can't put them in the composter. Which is really weird. So I'm like, okay, so what we need to do is fill up all that, not with cans, but you need to fill it up with buckets. And if I go in there, and if I just go like bucket, 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 I can fill up the entire thing with sewage. And that's going to compost, and that's going to make fertilizer for me. But that's the thing that I found relatively ambiguous, is 
it doesn't tell you you can't use sewage cans. It doesn't say that anywhere. It doesn't say that you can't go, like, you can't even shift and put them in. So that's the reason why I figured I'd make this video here, just to more so mitigate as much confusion as possible. Because this is a surefire way of we can go, we can get fertilizer now. And now I can go, now I can get my big frosty uh, dehydrator. Because now I have the fertilizer that I'm going to need. I'm sure that there's a lot more things that are required for fertilizer, but again, I'm not really at that point yet. But yeah, so hopefully this video just essentially helps you guys and shows you how easy it is to go and get fertilizer, but also shows you you can't really use sewage cans. Because sewage cans do not work, and you need to be using sewage buckets is more so the thing there. But yeah, so hopefully you guys did actually enjoy the video, and I hope that this video actually ended up helping you guys in the end of just a surefire way of making fertilizer in such a way, and also allowing you to make it bulk if you just have, like, all the chickens and everything directly on top, or any animal, sheep, cows, pigs, anything. It works the exact same way. But yeah, and if you guys did enjoy the content, again, feel free to leave a comment down below, maybe just some suggestion or something, or maybe even why they don't allow you to use sewage cans in here. Because I find that extremely odd. But yeah, so that's where I'm going to end the video. And hopefully I helped you guys.